Hey, Pete. Hey, dispatch. Hey, it looks like it's been a long day out there, man. It looks like you're getting a little tired. Why don't you, uh, why don't you pull over and take a break? Be safe. Bye-bye. What is happening, YouTube? Chris here with My Trucking Journey here at the Casa. And just wanted to go over a few things about these, uh, you know, outward and inward facing cameras. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy on Facebook. I mean, if you all are on the Facebook page, uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen it um, blowing up and everyone is, you know, has their own opinions. Um, looks like a lot of negative feedback about it, uh, which, you know, I feel the same way. It's definitely a, an invasion of privacy to the driver, especially someone that is, uh, you know, making payments to the truck um, as an owner op or lease operator. Um, that's a little over, overboard, but um, I did do some research. JB Hunt um, currently is forcing 27,000 of their drivers to get inward facing cameras or you're just out the door. Um, a lot of these big companies are changing to that and everyone's aboard uh, apparently prime as well uh, a little birdie uh, another YouTube uh, channel um, got some insight from the inside um, what I posted uh, in the beginning of the video they might be going with them um, just a little glimpse of how it works I uh, thought I would post that on there not too sure if that's a hundred percent but I mean, it shows you a little bit about it. Um, a lot of people backlashing about this. And I want to say there's a lot of talk on Facebook. Um, there's a lot of talk you can always do on Facebook. But the reality is, is if we don't stand up as a whole, if no one opens their mouth at a safety meeting, doesn't contact safety and give them input, you know, stand up and shout talk tell you know give your opinion stand up for what you believe in you have to speak out especially in front of prime headquarters we have to and if you don't it's just going to happen they're not going to listen i don't know you know if they're going to listen anyways if they already have their mind made up i mean but they want our input on it so the only way to put input input on it is to stand up at a meeting or go to safety directly, call them, show up, be a part of, you know, not letting this happen or happen if that's what you want. Um, but, you know, just sitting here on our phones, typing away is not really gonna do much, you know? So I'm sure a lot of veterans, including my trainer, and myself, I think it's a evade of privacy and they're gonna lose a lot of people for it. Um, but do they care? I mean, I don't know. They have about 9,000 drivers, but I mean, how many of us are there, you know? So anyways, guys, just wanted to give you guys an update and uh, just, you know, we gotta stand up and we gotta talk out and we gotta be there for a meeting and voice our opinions. And that's what I think about that. If not, I mean, it's just, it's just going to go through. So y'all take care and catch me on the next one.